Welcome to Your Weight Loss Questions Answered. And today's question, we're gonna talk about how and when to recalculate your macros. A lot of people just calculate their macros one time on this weight loss journey and never redo it. As you lose weight, you have to recalculate those macros. So that's how you continually work your way down into that, um, that weight loss goal range you're looking for. So the way you do it is the same way. You just take where you're at that day and put it in your macro calculator and let it spit out all that information. The key is just to do it regularly. As you, every five or 10 pounds in this weight loss, in your weight loss journey, go ahead and recalculate your macros. It'll make sure that you are, stay on track with your weight loss journey. Today, we're gonna to talk about fitness trackers. Do, should I use them? Are the numbers right? What's the deal with fitness tracker? I have one, I have an Apple Watch, it's got it on there. Most of the fitness trackers that take, say, calories burned are incorrect. They can be anywhere from 30% to over 100% inaccurate in what they're telling you. So what I use is I use the step counter. It's not, you know, it's not gonna be 100%, but at least it's a tangible number that we can go by. Those exercise calories burned usually are never accurate. Go with the step counting. If you have weight loss questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them on a future show. I also have a macro counting jumpstart guide that's available in a link in the comments. This way of eating has helped me lose 14 pounds in the last couple of weeks and I'm really excited about it. We will see you next time.